Good morning. We awakened this morning at the Ebenezer Baptist Church uh, to discover uh, several Confederate flags placed on the campus of this historic church, the Church of Martin Luther King, Jr. Obviously, this has gotten our attention as it comes just a few short weeks after the massacre of nine innocent people in a Charleston church, in an environment in which we have witnessed uh, several church burnings, and at a time in which we are witnessing the killing of unarmed citizens by police and the response in the Black Lives Matter movement. Just holding for Superintendent Judy Forte. Uh, we received a call earlier this morning that uh, there were a number of uh, rebel flags that was located on this campus. We secured those uh, flags uh, with the National Park Service. Uh, what we're in the process of doing is, is working with our federal partners, the National Park Service, the Joint Terrorism Task Force, and the Atlanta Police Department Homeland Security, and all of our federal partners to make sure that we have all the resources available to find out exactly who these individuals were and to bring them in to have an interview with them to find out exactly where we're going with this case. We, we're reviewing uh, the surveillance video that was, uh, that's here on the campus. Uh, we've definitely seen uh, the, the images of two individuals that, uh, that left the, uh, the flags. We're trying to identify those folk right now. To place Confederate flags on the campus of Ebenezer Baptist Church. After uh, this horrific act in Charleston, in the wake of all that's happening in our country, whatever the message was, it was clearly not about heritage, it was about hate. Yes, mm -hmm. And so uh, we will remain vigilant uh, on this issue uh, because not only is it about hate, it is clearly a statement of, uh, it is the kind of statement that we would characterize as a terroristic threat. Mm -hmm. 